Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Life with Marianne and Joe and our continuation of Christmas 2021. And today I'll be working on this wall unit in the library and I'm going to transform this room into Santa's office. Okay, so the first thing I did was I went out to Walmart and I got this garland. And boy, did this garland get really crummy and cheap. It was the uh, 9 foot and 12 foot pieces. They didn't have much left. They were like $3 and $5, I think, respectively. And they're really, really thin and flimsy. Uh, but I needed it for this application. So um, I outlined the wool unit first with the garland and it's so sparse so I'm going to try my best to beef this up. I'm not going to be adding a lot of picks to it but just by other things that I put in I'm going to try to beef it up. Alright so the first thing I did was I added a couple hundred uh, red lights to this uh, garland and I kind of really twisted it tight. Now, I'm going to begin working on the top first and I'm going to start with these presents that I had wrapped last year. I'm going to reuse them again because there were a lot of work so I'm going to do them and I'm bringing them up on top and I'm going to create kind of like a pyramid shape with them because I like a lot of the height in the center and then lower as we go down there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a lot of um, accessories up there mostly in the form of toys because it belong it's santa's you know office here so here's a bunch of toys that i have i threw them on the floor because i have to separate them out and i'm going to slowly begin putting them in so i started with the one on the top and then gradually i start building and building and i just place them until it's aesthetically pleasing to my eye so you can see here I have most of the toys all stuck in there and they're sitting on those presents and and so on. So, um, you know, it takes a little bit of manipulating with them because they're, they're stuffed and sometimes they don't want to stand where I want them to be. So again, I use that floral wire. It's always a good thing and sometimes I have to use actually something to prop them up behind. I, I added in some red and green ribbon and... That's sparkly and that is like um, textured. I put uh, big ones on each side and then I put smaller here, just a double loop. And then I finished it off down there as well. Okay, next is... So the next thing this I did was I built out from the center. I put this uh, piece of pine in here. And then I added in some snowy little picks with this other pick with a with a red bird in it. And then I also added some of the snowy picks on each end like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, because I have to like beef this garland up because it was miserable. Next, I'm going to add in these berries, these red sparkly berries, as well as these white. I think I'm going to add them in. I'm going to try it. All right, so um, I've added in some red and green ornaments, some dangling green ornaments, the elves, uh, some uh, cupcakes. Uh, thank you, Davida Lane, for teaching me how to make those cupcakes, even though they're nowhere near what she does, and uh, some hanging beads, and uh, also some, a, a few candy canes here and there. So um, I, you know, I try to get this as, you know. Uh, opulent, I don't know if that's the right word, as I possibly could. I had a really bad base to work with. All right, next I'm going to be working on this uh, section right in here. This is the upper uh, cubby that's in this wall unit above where the television was supposed to be. And um, I'm going to be building Santa's Village in there. Now, this was a set that we got uh, a while back in Costco, and it has beautiful pieces to it. Here is the toy shop. You can see in the window a little elf working on some toys in there. This is the observatory uh, and there's actually um, little guys that, you know, are looking through telescopes and whatnot. Here, I don't know what this piece is. I, I don't see a name on it, but I like the, the roof that they put on the outside. Uh, this is... Um, they're working in here. There's uh, two of them looking at a globe. There's another two at a table over there mapping out Santa's route. 
and uh, so on. And this is the Christmas ball factory right here. We see the balls coming down and so on. And here is a couple of elves sitting up in a tree having uh, some dinner. Uh, so I start, as I always do, with creating some levels. And this time what I'm using is some books. And notice I have a 100 white lights in there as well that I'm going to use. Next, the snow sheet goes down. And then I begin placing in the pieces where I want them. And I string the lights through the trees in the back and through each one of those pieces and around the entire area so that I get light not only within the house but I have light shining up onto the houses as well as some lights in the trees to give a little sparkle. So this was a hundred lights, a hundred string lights and I just used that in and out, in and out uh, through the trees and around the houses and so on. Next what I'll do is I go in with the buffalo snow and I cover all the wires up and then I add in all the accessory pieces. Take a look at these pieces, how absolutely beautiful they are. There are, uh, you just saw Santa by the sleigh over there and the elves, uh, there's some teaching the reindeer to fly, there's some, you know, uh, packing toys away, some carrying uh, candy, uh, there are a uh, one with a telescope, like I said before. There's uh, one with a wheelbarrow pushing, you know, toys over to the sled. This one is ice skating that you see right here. That guy is reading the list to make sure everything gets in in the sled. And um, there's the guy with it with the telescope right up there. So you can see this this uh, set. This was a set. I think we got it in Costco or maybe BJ's. I can't remember anymore. But um, the pieces are great, such great detail, and of course, the trees and the buffalo snow bring it to life. Don't forget, you need that greenery in there. That's what makes the whole thing look magical. Without it, it just looks like a bunch of ceramic houses. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to address these cubbies. I started with uh, red chargers, and next I'm going to use some retro pieces. This is from when I was a kid, this uh, little set right here. I lost one piece. I don't know where it is. These are uh, for tea, also uh, very retro from when I was a kid as well. These pieces uh, are all very old, and um, I thought they were appropriate for that unit. That is from Avon. My mother got that, uh, I don't know, a really long time ago. This was from my nephew and his girlfriend. And here, again, another piece from my mother and father and this uh, cookie jar and this cookie jar and uh, let's see, what, and another cookie jar. You know, Santa likes cookies, so there's plenty of cookie jars in his office. And here's the setup for the cubbies right here. Okay, everybody, so I hope you enjoy what the rest of the unit looks like. Just stay tuned and keep watching it. Thank you everyone for stopping by today and spending some time with me. I hope you'll continue watching my next videos coming up as I transform this room into Santa's office and I have so much other stuff to do yet. I'm running really late. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.